Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to Living a Civil Life Home and Garden. I'm Edith. I'm glad you're here. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Today is going to be fun. This is going to be packed with goodies for the holidays. This is my hot chocolate bar and beverage bar which means it's going to have hot chocolate things for hot chocolate and for tea hot tea because my daughter likes hot tea also so i started out with this um, mirror that i'm using as a tray and i used that little um, um cake dome thing i don't think that's what it was i think it was a, originally a two-tier tray or something I got it from a thrift store. I also got that little cookie jar from a thrift store that I put on there on top of that mirror tray. And the two little red and white booties came from Dollar Tree. And um, that's what we're starting off with. Now I had this old Christmas tree. I found it in one of the Christmas buckets. You know how you find stuff when you're going through the Christmas buckets. And I was thinking, well, I could put it on the, the hot chocolate bar. But then when I started to put it on there, just I was only going to put fairy lights on it. But it, it seemed to need a little more help than that. So then I found these little uh picks they're old picks and they're kind of they were actually broken also so i just took them and i curved them around kind of made like a cup a cuff out of them and made them like a garland on this little baby tree and um to give it a little more um to help it a little <laughs> this is a little old tree but it's a cute little tree i like it it looks like a a big pine tree that's in my neighborhood actually <laughs> um sometimes that's how they look but um i i also thought that it still needed something else so i found this little uh bush this little poinsettia bush in in one of those buckets also and i cut the little florals off and i found places to put it on there to uh brighten it up because it just seemed to have so much dark spaces and the little fairy light that i had it wasn't very long it was probably only like uh 10 or 12 inches so it's not a lot of fairy lights on it so this little white poinsettia which i think originally came from dollar tree also i'm not really sure about that but i think so and it was a little bush and i had it for a long time and i never used it so I just cut it cut it off and made little picks for this little tree and so that's what I'm doing here I'm going to um, also you I don't think I showed it on camera but I found some little disco little mini disco balls that they have at Dollar Tree and I hung some of them some of those on there also and so that made it look much much better so here I started finding the things that I need to use. This little bowl. It was a set of three bowls. This one says Noel. It has a cute little green bird on it. And there's one. Uh, that I think that's the smallest one. There's one that says. I'm off camera. Sorry about that. Mary. And it also has a little bird on it. And I think there's one that says Joy also. And it's the middle size. And I'm going to use these to hold things like um, packets of things. Um, tea, chocolate, things like that. That's what I figured I could hold it for. I, I actually was going to use it for candy. But then I changed my mind. And I put together on the other side of the this buffet... A lot of little glass uh, dishes that I have when I, and I use these um, um, to make to hold the uh, um, like cookies little tea cakes or whatever like that and I, I use this uh, all the time I use these in this this is cloche 
I have three of these cloaks. Two of them are big, and then this one that you're going to see now is a smaller one, and it's actually a little different color. It has less color in it, but it still goes with all the rest of the things that's on this hot chocolate bar. So, on on now for the mugs. The mugs are so adorable. They're so cute. I've had these are vintage mugs. And I have had them for years. I, I used these when my kids were small. I used to make hot chocolate in them for my kids. And I still have I looked up in my cabinet and I saw them. And I don't know. It's something about uh, this year that I kind of feel more of a retro style. Um, I don't know what it is. We're all going through something. We're going through something. My family, my in in our country, in our world. So, yeah, just stepping back to some of the things that are familiar, that's warm and cozy and familiar to you. Kind of get, bringing back those memories of things that you did at happier times kind of helps. Uh, so... That's why I used those particular mugs. Then I figured that I needed something on this little um, riser with the cookie jar because it had too much space between there. I could see it. So I just took a little piece of a uh, garland, old old garland that I had some project and put it around it. And in later on, you'll see that I I put some more little pigs on it. And right here is the where I use the. Um, Dollar Tree ornament. I was trying to get that string not to show, but it's still showing. But that's okay. Everybody knows that's a Dollar Tree ornament. <laughs> There's no getting around that. Then I had this great idea to get an electric kettle and I wouldn't have to always turn on the tea kettle on the stove or warm up water in the microwave, uh, fool around, warm up water with my husband's coffee pot, my husband and my daughter's coffee pot, because they use that for coffee. So I got this cute little uh, comb, looking like a beehive. Looks like a beehive on the side. Electric kettle, and it's fast boiling. Um, you could just put the water in, and I'll, that's you can show. That shows you where it fills, and it has its own little. I, <laughs> I was trying to open it, pull it open like I had uh, my other tea kettle, but you have to push the button. <laughs> you can't pull the top up. I was like, where's the top? Where's the little button? But there's no top. You push the button, and it has its own little hot plate, which. Um, plugs into the bottom and it plugs in and then it gets hot really really quick you don't have to wait a long time it also saves energy because if you don't have to turn on your stove your stove my kitchen stove runs on a 220 plug and that's a lot of energy so it saves energy but i didn't get to use it because the plug the cord was too short here i'm using a little snow um, in this glass, it's like a big uh, glass vase or um, decor piece, we'll call it. And I used this last year on the buffet also. I used it to put uh, ornaments in it with snow, kind of like this. And I had that same idea. And I was like, well, I could just use this on my hot chocolate bar if I did it right. So, and that will give me less thing to have to run around the house looking for things to put in there. So, I I put a little snow in there, enough where you can see it and you can make a bed of snow. And then I found, my daughter found me these chocolate bombs. And I've never had used a chocolate bomb. I was very interested in how to, how it would taste. And then I saw somebody on YouTube, I think it was... Um, I'm not really sure, so I'm not going to say, but she made it from scratch. I'm, that's how it looked. She made it from scratch, and it looked like it's really, they're really, really easy to make. But I just put them in there, and I stacked them together, made like a little pyramid on a bit of snow. And that, all you do is add a 
hot milk. Um, put it in a cup and put hot milk in it. And it melts down and turns into your hot chocolate. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> I'm so excited about trying that. And right here I'm making a mess. Spilling some peppermints everywhere. <laughs> I have a lot of peppermints on this on this uh hot chocolate bar because I actually like peppermint. I like mint. I eat I eat mint a lot. I um I will even put fresh mint in my iced tea. And then I have these uh peppermint spoons stirred and i saw somebody today that said they didn't like it i've never tried them i usually use the peppermint canes in my hot chocolate or the little peppermint soft peppermints but i saw someone that said she didn't like it at all it tastes like chemical and i didn't understand that I then that she made me kind of leery, but I'm gonna try it anyway to see if I like it. So you know you have to have marshmallows. I mean, I guess you don't have to have marshmallows, but I like marshmallows. I don't eat them a lot. Basically, I probably will only eat them this time of year, and I will never touch them again. So if they're not all already gone um, this time of year, they're just gonna be in there. But my daughter. She'll eat them because she, um, she, her sugar will drop. She, so she needs something sweet sometimes to keep her sugar level up. So that it'll be great for her. And I can keep it on hand even after the holidays. I can put it in a different container and have it for her. And then she brought me these. My daughter went and got all these things I requested. <laughs> these crumble, these little... I call them crumbs, but, you know, they they um, broke them up. And I put it in a sugar bowl. Peppermint candies. I put them in a sugar bowl. Isn't that so cute? I thought that was so adorable. They look so cute. They look good. It'll make you want to play in that. Play with them now. Maybe you'll eat more of them. <laughs> but I put them in that little sugar bowl. And um, it made it real convenient. If you don't want to drop a peppermint into your hot chocolate you can just get a little bit of the crumbs and the little sprinkles and put them in your hot chocolate and this is how it looks and on the other side i have peppermint candies because i like them i'll put those in everything <laughs> and andy's did you see the andy's i love andy's do you like andy's i love andy's candy I, i've been eating those for years okay so, I went and found a teapot for my daughter, which was thrifted, but under the bottom of the teapot, it had the tag on it, and it said TJ Maxx on it, but I got it at the thrift store for much less than $12.99, <laughs> because it still had the tag on it, and I, and I got these little um, tea cups from Amazon back, I think it was like in the summer. And these are the little butter cookies. Who doesn't love butter cookies? Now, this is the problem. I don't need all these cookies around me because I'll eat them. I like cookies. I don't really care for candy, but I like cookies. <laughs> I like, um, so you see there's no muffins on there. I'll eat all the muffins in sight. <laughs> I like cake. Plain cake, pound cake, seven up cake. Okay, let's get off of that. Um, here is the chocolate. I found a, I kept some, uh, this bottle from something. I don't know what it was. And uh, I made a little label and I put uh, the chocolate syrup in there. So it could look really cute on the hot chocolate bar. And um, that this hot, ch this chocolate syrup came from uh H E B, yeah the grocery store in our area and um the, i i filled up two of these one of them is that is the this one is the regular hot chocolate syrup because um some my my husband can't have the sugar so i didn't fill up the um i didn't want him to eat to drink that one because he will. <laughs> He'll sneak. <laughs> he 
Sometimes he uh, sneak and do things he should not be doing. He can't have sugar. So these are the little bottle brush trees that I had over there in that area. So I took them out and I put them around the um, Christmas tree. The little, doesn't that little tree look cute now? It's so cute with all his little, little uh, disco balls and the poinsettias. And then I had, this is the other bottle. And I messed the label up. I was trying to do something and, and the label wasn't dry. And I smeared it. And you'll see where I <laughs> I licked it and I come back and um I repair I got a new one. I took that label off and got a new one. See it says there sugar free. Mm-hmm. Sugar free, darling Dan. <laughs> Sugar free for you. You can put it in everything though. <laughs> he can make his coffee drink with a little uh, sugar free chocolate in it. Make him a mocha or whatever it is they make. I don't drink coffee. I don't know about it. I can't tell you. But this is the sugar free uh, chocolate syrup for my husband because he can't have sugar. He can only have, he can have sugar. He can't have a lot of sugar. He can have. Organic sugar, he can't have a whole bunch of sugar though, and he don't really like the packets, so therefore he has to have less sugar. <laughs> okay, so this is the chocolate syrup, and I'm just gonna put it back in the back of the um the tray because you'll still you'll still be able to see it. Doesn't that look so cute? It's so adorable. I love this. This is so much fun to do. And it was so much work. I had to sit down so many times my back hurt. <laughs> right in the front, I didn't show that cup to you, but the cup that's on the top, that's my husband's cup and it says Jesus is the reason for the season. Right on the right side, on top of that little uh, happy horse. And this is how the whole thing came together and just blended so beautifully, didn't it? That, that little, see the little guitar down there? That's a nod to my husband. He's a musician. He plays guitar. All of them. He has a lot of guitars. So every year, every year at Christmas, I try to find somewhere to put a, a guitar on the ornament. This year, I put it on the hot chocolate bar. Right in the front where you can see it. Hopefully, he'll play us some Christmas carols. <laughs> Before the season's out. He's been really working hard. He's working long hours. He don't have time to play guitar. <laughs> so this is how it looks. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, don't those chocolate bones look cute in that um, vessel, bowl, whatever that is? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I got that at the thrift store also. Um, and... The little cookie jar with the little, with the little booty on it. The little booty. It looked like something that my little grandbaby wore when, she, when grandbabies wore when they were young. So cute, right? I even have an ornament on a crystal uh, figurine of a woman that looks like she's like down in the Caribbean or somewhere in Africa, where they, somewhere where they wear their, where they carry their. Um, baskets on their head. She got a hand on a hip, looking cute <laughs> with a Christmas ornament. And these are the cookies. I know it's not a lot of cookies in there. I didn't put a lot of cookies in there on purpose because uh, I don't have discipline. <laughs> Those are mint, mint cookies. <laughs> Those cookies are from Pepperidge Farm, everybody. If you want to know where they came from. Those are the peppers. One cookies, they are so delicious. Mm, I love them. <laughs> and this is how the whole thing came out. You can see the Jesus is the reason for the season cup right there. So cute, right? My husband found that when he was in the thrift store with me also. We always find some good, 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 good things at the thrift store. And there are the chocolates. One for us, one for him. And then my daughter came in. She was out running errands. And I, at the end of my video, I had finished. And she said, I found the honey spoons. Oh, okay. 
Those are clover honey spoons. Clo and they're honey. They're actual real honey. They don't have any corn syrup in it. It says on the tag. They're real honey. And this one is lavender. And they're purple because they're lavender uh, honey spoons. They have no um, GMOs, none of that kind of stuff. They're organic, and they're actually made from real honey. And so I put them on the other side in one of those, whatever that thing is, um, vase, vessel, whatever y'all call that. <laughs> <laughs> but I stick, I put some snow in it and, and stuck them down in the snow. I wish I had some more, uh, a lot of them for my daughter. So she'll probably get some more because she'll use those. And um, I'll use the honey though. We'll all use the honey. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so much fun. And it's huge, right? So I have two two door I have two daughters that are in town and my husband is actually um doesn't drink much hot chocolate but he might drink some since he has sugar free hot chocolate. So we have enough for everybody. Something for everybody and snacks. Merry Christmas guys. Thanks for watching. Stay busy out there, stay encouraged, keep your head up. As long as you're alive. There is hope. Bye. Merry Christmas.